Hello and welcome back to the channel, woke zoomers. It's politically correct and tolerant midnight here, hissing the rainbow flag, because today I got some reveals for the Emperor's Children, which will release this Friday. Before I show you the cards, I would like to explain a new mechanic for the Emperor's Children. It's a new status condition they can apply and it's called Disorient. Disorient means when attacking, the target is chosen randomly among all other units in play until next turn. So this is basically the Cacophony Commander effect, which lasts only one turn. Keep in mind that this orientation ignores traits like Frontline, Precognition or Stealth. You still have to attack the Frontline target if you don't have Unstoppable with the Disoriented unit, but the attack can land on anything regardless if it has Stealth or Precognition. That being said, let's jump into the first card. It's a rare tactic called Sonic Shriek and for 2 energy you will disorient an enemy and draw a card. This reminds me a lot of the Smoke Grenade from the old Sons of Foros, which was a decent card simply because it did something and you drew a card for cheap, but I think this orientation is slightly worse than it's done and I will explain why. The only scenario where I think that this orientation is better than it's done is when you apply it on Berserk units, so the Bloodthirst for example. But keep in mind that there is still randomness attached, they can still attack the right target. The stun on the other hand guarantees that these units aren't able to act unless they play something like Bonus of Tiska. On the other hand, this orientation will be completely useless if you're up against something like a Santa or units which rely on using their powerful abilities instead of attacking. Against everything else, well, I guess it functions like a stun, most people will just sit out the effect and not risk attacking with disoriented units. If you're in a really tough position where you have to attack or your opponent kills you next turn, you can still go for the gamble. The stun would have been worse in this case because, well, you have no out and here you have to, like, you throw a coin and hope for the best outcome. So overall, I would say this mechanic is kind of meh, but we will see maybe if there are some more synergies with it, like dealing damage to disoriented enemies or anything, this might become pretty useful. Just like the next card, it's called Polarian Cacophony, it's a rare troop for 4 energy, 3 attack for health, so slightly understated, and on perfection it disorients a random enemy and adjacent units. I don't think this is particularly good, simply because it is random in its card description, <laughs> and disorientation is a random effect by itself. Also, this is very matchup dependent, as I explained earlier. This is probably only really good if you're up against an opponent who goes really wide, so you're guaranteed to hit at least three targets. At the same time, if your opponent has more than two targets available, you don't have any control over where your disorientation is going. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one. And the last card on my list is a 10 energy epic troop. It's called Arma Superbia. 12 attack, 10 health. Huge stats, and on rally it does 4 damage and disorients the target and adjacent units. Now, disorient aside, I think I've talked enough about it already, it's random and matchup dependent. How good is this card? I guess you could compare it to Hope's End from the Sons of Forest, which got added recently. It's a decent card, you can even fetch it for reduced cost with Lead the Spear Tip. Definitely good in event, but it doesn't see that much constructed play, simply because it doesn't have any particular synergies and it's simply expensive, although you can play it on 8. So I think the same would apply to this card as well, unless there are some Disorient synergies or the Emperor's Children will have something like Technical Brilliance reprinted and can cheese this out a little bit earlier like on 7 or 8 energy with Drilling Sight. Don't think it will see much play, but time will tell. Alright guys, and that was it for my reveals. I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was informative. I will be streaming the Emperor's Children release as soon as it goes live on Friday, so don't forget to subscribe, otherwise you'll miss out. And I hope to see you then. And until then, peace.